Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. Today on Tips and Reviews, we're going to talk a little bit about Dynamic DNS and how it can be used. Stay tuned. Okay, so today we're going to talk about what is Dynamic DNS and do we really need it? In its simplest form, Dynamic DNS always points a domain to your current Dynamic IP address. Now, that domain could be your own fully qualified domain or a domain issued to you when you register with a Dynamic DNS service. Let's take a look at a typical home user setup. In this typical home user setup, we're looking at the ISP connecting into a home router, and then behind the home router, we have a couple of devices. Could be a couple of computers, maybe a surveillance camera, DVR, etc. In most cases, in a residential situation, the ISP issues what's called a dynamic IP address to a home router. Now, dynamic meaning that will change. It could change every 30 days, it could change every week, it could also change daily. But one thing that is guaranteed, it will change. In most setups in a home situation, this is typically fine. However, suppose you want to make a remote connection into your home network. Maybe you want to look at some files on this computer or maybe you want to check out some footage recorded by one of your surveillance cameras. In any event, you need to configure this mobile device and at minimum the information required on this mobile client is going to be server information, a username, and password. Usually that server information is the IP address or the fully qualified domain name. And this is where a dynamic IP address could pose a problem. You see, it will change. So, if you did configure this information with a dynamic IP address, you will probably connect the first time and maybe a couple of times after that. However, once your IP changes from your ISP, you will no longer be able to make that remote connection into your network. And that's where DDNS comes into play. Registering with a dynamic DNS service will give you a domain name that regardless of how many times your ISP changes your DHCP address, that domain name will always point to the proper destination. So how does it work? Register with a free DDNS service. There are many out there to choose from. Just Google free DDNS. Configure your router or network client to communicate with the DDNS service. So what happens is, once you've linked your router or client to the DDNS service of your choice, each time your ISP changes your DHCP address, that router or network client will notify the FreeDDNS DNS service and update your domain. And from that point, guys, just enjoy remote connections into your home network. In my next video, I'm going to show how to set up DDNS on an edge router. So if you like this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please share, put any comments that you have down below. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.